Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in Jordan's Easter basket. Um, I do want to say I'm missing two things so far. Um, no, three things so far from, for her Easter basket. One won't even be here, but we did buy her from um, Amazon just a little like bucket with um, a shovel and a rake and you know like a sand almost like a sandbox toolkit that you can use in the dirt you can use in a garden stuff like that so we did get her that we didn't find one at Walmart that we liked because they're either too cheap or they just was they were just too big for her so we found one that was just right and we bought on Amazon so other than that um, there is a dress that we bought her for Easter also, but it's in her room and she's napping. And the third thing I'm going to be putting in this big Easter egg is like an apple or an orange probably that I'll put in here. So I already had packed her Easter basket, but I'm going to take it apart and show you and then I will repackage it. Um, you will notice I don't have a lot for her because Jordan's only a year and a half old which means she doesn't really know what is going on still. She's kind of get the she's kind of getting the hang of it whenever I say something about Easter or Easter egg, she'll bring me an Easter egg, you know, and stuff like that. But um in our home that's not what Easter is really about. Um but I do want to have her do that because as they get older in school and stuff like that where I live, they do a big um for their elementary a big Easter egg hunt and so I do want her to like get the hang of that and you know have fun and at Easter but really know what Easter is about so first thing I'm going to show you is this trolls book that we got her and it's a grab and go and it had 210 plus stickers so it does say three plus but she plays with stickers and she colors so it comes with six sticker sheets four play scenes and six coloring sheets in this whole thing so it will last her a while. She does have a frozen one already, but um, that we just got her a couple weeks ago. But I gave it to her. I wasn't gonna. I didn't want to wait because she was seen it and she wanted it. So of course I gave in and just gave it to her. But she has one similar like this, but it's a book. It almost looks like a coloring book, but inside of it it has um, stickers in it. So that was supposed to go in her Easter basket, but she seen it, so I gave in like I usually do. I'm just gonna put this in here. And then I'll show you what kind of how I am having her Easter basket. Again, this is her Easter basket. This is the first one we got her when she was just a baby. Um, let's see. She was... Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think. I will insert a picture right here. And I'm trying to think how old she was. Three months, two and a half, three months, somewhere in there. And she was so cute with her little Easter bunny hat, Easter bunny ears. And we also have her Easter bunny ears too from last year that will still fit her this year. But this is her first Easter basket that we have. And um, you can change the liner out of it. So next year as she gets older, I'll, put, I'll uh, have a liner made for this basket that says Jordan. And so yeah, but it's bittersweet because it was her first Easter basket and she was so small. So moving on. Um... There is a lady here where I live that was doing um, personalized eggs and rabbits and it's the one that you've seen this huge one that says Jordan on it and this one says Jordan on it and then on the little feet it says 2017. Um, I was going to get her one from Walmart but I figured I would support um, our local businesses that are here and I just got her this. It's, it's cute and it's really really soft so this is going in her Easter basket. Um, I have a big Thing of bubbles that I got her we have a really long one that makes the really big bubbles come out and so I told Doug we might as well get a six pack of these and I'll put two in her each basket and the other four we can just put in the cabinet and that way when the big one runs out we can just refill it so these are going in there and she loves bubbles I'm telling you again this will have some sort of probably like um I'd probably say an orange because she really likes oranges. She rarely eats them because they're too like acidy for her, and sometimes she gets an upset stomach. So, but that's probably what go. Oh my gosh! I don't know if it's gonna stay shut or not. Maybe I should put the bubbles in there or some eggs. But anyway, 
like, oh, maybe I'll put the eggs in there. So I won't actually fill these with eggs, and I'll just put the orange, um, the orange in there. So we got these eggs from Walmart, and they're just like almost plasticky, but you stick them in the water, and the egg actually cracks, and an animal comes out and it grows. So that's pretty cool, and that'll be like a little fun thing for her to do um, with Doug. Um, I'll uh, uh, obviously be involved, but. I like to do things where it could just be me and her, you know, an activity that me and her can do while I'm gone to work, or why Doug's gone to work, and then, or vice versa, when Doug's here Friday, he can just grab this one thing that she usually doesn't play with or sees a lot, and they can do it together like an activity, so that's where all those will go, actually, it's a good idea. I got these little eggs, and they have little trolls on them from... Uh, the Trolls movie and she loved the movie so that was really smart of me to grab she was actually with us when we got all this stuff <laughs> and she doesn't even remember because usually she's waiting by the table like where's all my stuff what are you taking out what are you unloading but um, I also got her I'll show you I'm actually gonna put all the eggs in this big egg and actually it looks pretty cute so I'll show you after it's done put it together um, we have a lot of Play-Doh, and she's just barely starting to play with Play-Doh. She's still learning not to stick it in her mouth. But I love playing with Play-Doh. I don't know why. I love just, I don't know, I don't know why I like it. and weird. And I like the smell of it. But I got her this teal one, and I got her this pink one. We do have some already, and these are new. Um, but I want to see how she does with... I don't want to have to bring, like, ten of these out, and then her, like, trying to smush them all together or eat them. So I'm just going to put two in her basket. And I also got her this kid's paint. Um, she can paint and it's washable paint. And I've read somewhere that um, like putting these in uh, little like Ziploc bags, like drops of them, and they can just smash them. Or I can have her um, be in the bathtub and use them. I did see someone who got, um, I think it was on It's Me Cassidy's. Um, channel she had these little packets and they were like for the bath and they're just like almost like little droplets like the uh, like little tablets they put in the things for you to put in your cups for I'm not making any sense for your uh, Easter egg dyeing to dye Easter eggs you know like the little tablets they throw in the water or the vinegar that's what it looked like um, but it was for the bathtub and I could not find any and I can't I couldn't find what vlog it was from to order some so I just got her this washable paint, and it, again, it's 3+, plus, but I'll be there to watch her. And she'll never learn unless I show her not to put it in her mouth. You know, not all this stuff is non-toxic, so that's okay. We got, for $1.98, 48 pastel eggs. Um, what I'm going to do on Easter Sunday, I'm going to go out, and I'm going to draw on our concrete on our slab of concrete we have a really really big concrete. I'm going to move the cars and I'm going to do like flowers and I'm going to take her out and we can draw on the concrete and I'm going to put half, you know happy Easter Jordan and then um, when she takes a nap I'm going to go out there and draw a really really big Easter bunny I'm going to try at least and I want to have like two or three sitting there and I'm going to actually have like a um, cute little basket she can carry around or like her little, uh, she carries around this little box that um, is actually one of her toys. You put, it has a lid on it and it has like shapes on the top of the lid and you just drop them into the bucket. I want to actually have her carry around that and then she can pick up all her eggs. Um, I want to do a scavenger hunt for her, like not full on scavenger hunt because she's young. But I want to hide them in places, you know, like three or four in one spot, and she can go put them in a bucket. And then as she's going around the house, I'm going to put some on the sidewalk so it leads into the door. And then I'm going to have her Easter basket sitting there. And I will put some of the um, Easter eggs in here if I can fit some because it's so small compared to like what she would have, you know, next year. She'll have a bigger basket, I was telling Doug. Um, by the time they get a little bit bigger, you know, you're getting a little bit more stuff. So, I'm going to show you. And this will just go on the side. It won't be able to fit in here. So, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And we will see what you guys think. 
So here's the Play-Doh and the stuff and then all the eggs are in here and that and that. So that's what it looks like. It's not like, it's not crazy, you know, um, crazy big or a lot of toys. If you've seen my vlogs, if you haven't, go and check me out. Jordan has a lot of toys and a lot of toys I could probably donate or save for the next baby. But this kid has so many toys and that's one thing we didn't want to get was toys because even though they are kids, she does have a lot of toys. Um, very fortunate that she could have a lot of toys. Some kids aren't that fortunate. And Easter's not about toys and getting their Easter eggs and you know, it's not what it's about but we do have to include that because that's just the way it is nowadays that, you know, people go Easter egg hunting. Um, you know, she'll be two in December and when she turns three, she'll be going to three-year-old preschool. And they do a big Easter egg hunt at the elementary school, which is like preschool to fifth grade. And, you know, I want her to know what, you know, I don't want her to be one of those kids that is like, I don't know what to do. You know, they're three. She probably is not going to know what to do. She's going to be just running around because everyone else is running around. But I do want her to enjoy Easter. But then again, we do want her to understand what Easter is about. So that's why she didn't get a lot of toys. But again, she is getting her... Um, little sandbox kit is what they called it. I almost want to say what that's what they called it. Almost like a beach kit, but it's not because we don't leave her at the beach. But something she can put her rocks in or dig and put her dirt in there. You know, just play in the dirt, be a kid. That's what I wanted, especially because summer's coming up. And we also got her a little pool. Um, it's about this thick and it's pretty round and I am going to do like an Easter day uh, vlog and it will be of you know breakfast and lunch and me doing the coloring and being outside and doing the scavenger hunt I'll be vlogging that and vlogging her reaction to her basket I'll be setting up the tripod somewhere in the house where she will be able to see it but not first grab it and she'll want her Easter basket so probably like right behind her Easter basket where she's focused on the Easter basket um, I do want to get her reaction to that and we have a little dress for her and we're gonna go see my mom my mom got her a dress for Easter um, it was actually a couple months ago, it was for summer, but I was like, that's a cute Easter dress. And she's like, oh yeah, it is, huh? And so that's what she'll be wearing for Easter when we go down to see my mom. So yeah, but here it is again. Just tro trolls, trolls and Easter growing eggs and personalized rabbits is something that she'll always remember. It won't be like, um, you know, she'll know when she got it and what she got it for is what I was worried about. Um, even though the kid has a lot of stuffed toys and stuffed animals, um, this will always be one that she'll keep. So, yeah. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more and you're interested in my Easter uh, Day vlog, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. And I just recently put up a, um, surprise concert we went to uh, this last weekend. So, go ahead and check that out to see who I went and seen in concert. So we will see you guys later and have a good Easter. I'm not sure if I will end up putting a vlog up before Easter besides tomorrow and Thursday. But other than that, we will see you guys later and have a good Easter. Bye!